As part of this tutorial, we get started with the Linux environment that you'll use for development. In particular, we will have a look at the browser, the known terminal, and the text editor Atom. So I will do this uh, tutorial following the virtual machine that you have provided, and I have started it already, but you can also use the dual boot option in G56 if you are there, for example, or use your own environment. Okay, firstly, we have the terminal, which is called the GNOME terminal, and I will increase the font size a little bit to Control plus. And here you can type in some commands that we will learn later. Second program that is of interest is Atom, which is an, an editor, so a normal text editor, if we say so. Let's have a look again at the steps. So yeah, so we look for and start the Atom text editor. By the way, um, when we click on the top left in the VM, we will get this little menu that says type to search. Here we can type, for example, terminal, and we get a kind of the application that matches. We can, you know, start with a, even with a single character, and we see that there is something called terminal. Okay, uh, another important aspect when you use Ubuntu, for example, is when you click on the top left, all the windows will be lined up, but should you get a nice overview of the applications that you have started. Okay, so now I've started Atom, the text editor, and uh, well, if you are new to it, you can, for example, click on help and the welcome guide, which gives you a lot of uh, information about shortcuts and so on, which is a little bit more advanced already, but you can also click on Atom Docs on the left side, which will fire up the browser, I suppose. And in here, there's a manual, the Atom Flight Manual, which is also installed in the browser, where you can get information about the basics of Atom. Okay, have a look, toy a little bit with it, and I will show you, give you a really a quick tour of the main features. Let me open a new file by clicking on File, New File, and saving this as maybe um, atom description.txt. Okay, most importantly, we, we have not yet started totally about your portfolio, but it's really good um, if you make some notes about your progress. So let me create a new folder here, which I call CS1PC. I clicked on this little icon here to create a new folder. Now I have created a folder, and as part of this folder, I say Atom Description. Okay, and I click on Save. Okay, of course you can type, right? This is a normal text ed editor. So Atom is very nice. So there are a couple of key features, which is, for example, multiple cursors, which is mentioned here that you should search about it and you should and get an understanding. It's really a great feature. For example, let me click using the control key multiple times. Now I have three cursors, so if I type anything, it will appear multiple times. That's really nice, and with the Alt key, Shift and Alt, you can basically go from the current position that you have up and down using the arrow keys, and that way you can get also multiple cursors, right? So let's say, for example, I have here a text, and I would have to remove, you know, the third character. What I do, I get to one of the lines, I press Shift and Alt, I go down and down, now I have multiple cursors, I can get to the third character and delete it. Okay, that's nice. Sometimes what you want to do, for example, is you have a, um, a dot or a character or a string. So we can use the search, which you find um, under find, of course, and con which has also a shortcut, control F, to find it buffer. Let's search for a dot. I can click on find or I can click on find all. And once you click on find all, 
um, you basically, when you press escape, you will get multiple cursors for each of the found locations. So I now can replace, for example, the dot with a semicolon. So this is multiple uh, cursors. It's one of the features um, that have been introduced with, uh, I would say, with a new ge newer generation of text editors. And now I want to save, so I can click on File Save. And this little, there's a little blue dot that you will see when I make changes, which indicates the file is not saved. But um, Atom actually stores files, uh, even the changes that you make um, in a buffer. So when you close the application, you can always get back, even though you haven't saved all the changes. Okay, so I can save the file and now I've made my first edit. So yeah, please um, have a look. There are some further links about Atom. So I actually linked the Atom basics here with the URL directly. And again, you can just copy from a PDF into the virtual machine because the clipboard is basically um, aligned. You see, when you copy a URL, you have a problem slightly because, but uh, clicking on, on it will still work. Okay, so we have here the URL. Okay, so that makes it really convenient to exchange information. And there are some further hints that you can use and uh, keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, just toy with the editor and this Linux as a whole, right? You can start, for example, the Firefox browser. Yeah, make a little bit of research to play with this environment. For 20 minutes. If you have any question, approach us in Teams. We will be there to answer your questions during the, our interactive sessions in particular.